this problem, we'll solve this equation. So I got x times 3x minus 1 is equal to 10. Now, zero factor property. This looks like it's already factored, but there's a problem. There isn't zero on this side. So actually, what we need to do is get rid of the parentheses, get everything over one side, and get zero on. So that's our first step. You have to get zero on one side. Well, x times 3x gives us 3x squared. x times negative 1 is negative 1x or negative x. And I'll go ahead and bring the 10 over to the left side. You take anything across here equals your sign changes. So the 10 becomes a negative 10 equals zero. Now, um, by doing this, we, we now have zero on the right side. So that's good. So our next step is to factor. This will be a key number. The reason why I know it's a key number is because we have x squared x, no x, and there's a number in front of your x squared. Now with the key number, we take the number at the beginning times the number at the end, ignoring signs. So we got 3 times 10 gives us 30. And then we're going to come up with our three columns. P column, we write down all products, give us 30. We got 1 times 30. 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 5 times 6. The S column, S for sum, we want to add these together. 1 plus 30 is 31, 2 plus 15 is 17, 3 plus 10 is 13, 5 plus 6 is 11. D for difference, we want to subtract smaller from larger. 30 minus 1 is 29, 15 minus 2 is 13, 10 minus 3 is 7, 6 minus 5 is 1. The number we're looking for is a number in our middle term, which is the visible 1, which is right here. So we're going to use 5 and 6. Now remember, we're going to rewrite our middle term using those two numbers. Now our larger number that we're using in the P column, which is a 6, will always be the same sign as the middle term, which is negative. So we've got negative 6x. Number of circles in a difference column, D for different signs. So if the 6 is negative, then the 5 has to be positive. Then we want to use factor by grouping. Group first two terms together, group last two terms together. Now the first two terms have a 3 and an x in common, GCF, and that leaves us x minus 2. The second group uh, are both divisible by 5, so I can factor out a GCF of 5, and that leaves us x minus 2. Now our goal with grouping is to get this parenthesis the same as this, and it is. So I'll factor out the x minus 2. Now, to decide what goes in your second set of parentheses, you can cross out these x minus 2s. And what isn't crossed out is what goes right here, which would be 3x plus 5. Okay. Zero factor property. What that says, you get 0 one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to 0. So I'm going to set x minus 2 equal to 0, and 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. Now we're trying to get x by itself, so on this one I'll take negative 2 over to the right side, it becomes a positive 2. Now on this one we take the 5 over, and it becomes a negative 5. Anytime you take anything across here equals your sign changes. Then I want to divide both sides by the number in front of the x, which is 3. And those 3 is going to cancel. And we get x is equal to negative 5 thirds. So our two answers are 2 and negative 5 thirds.